The I team investigating this dash cam video of a police sergeant trying to catch up for a speeding patrol car. That other patrol car not using emergency lights or a siren. This happened on Interstate 95 last December, but the I team just obtained the video this afternoon and in it, the Jacksonville police sergeant is able to convince that other officer to pull over. Channel 4's Jim Pickett has been looking into the video and he spoke with the sheriff's office. Jim, what are they saying about this incident? Well, JSO is saying that that officer should have been running with lights and sirens and they investigated that. But there is a concern. The former sergeant who gave me that video today says more should have been done to the officer. She was counseled, but not disciplined. And the sergeant believes that the supervisors are to blame, not her. This dash cam video was from former Sergeant Rob Smith, who just retired from the department. He had his own unauthorized dash camera on his patrol car and was rolling last December when he saw this JSO cruiser coming from behind, cutting in and out of traffic and speeding along I-95. This camera shows Smith's speed, who at times had to go over 100 miles per hour just to catch up. Smith told me he was worried because the other officer didn't have on her lights and siren. We showed this video to our crime and safety expert, Gil Smith, who had some of the same concerns. She's going very quickly. She's on her way. I mean, she, she's driving at a very high rate of speed. How dangerous is that? Without the blue lights and siren on, then other cars really can't tell that, um, that she's coming. So without the blue lights and siren on, the other cars don't have a warning. Is it dangerous? It could be, depends on what's going on with other traffic. It's not very heavy traffic at this point. So I don't see a lot of people trying to avoid her. She doesn't appear to be running people off the road at this point. Eventually, Sergeant Smith did catch up and turned on his lights and pulled the officer over. He had learned from dispatch that she was off duty, but was responding to a SWAT call. I'm sorry, sorry. Not a problem, call it where? Cause you're doing 94 driving like a freaking maniac. On the Acosta Bridge where they got a jumper or something? Do me a favor, if you're gonna run like that, you gotta have your lights on. Because people, that's when people, you know, get a bad rep on us. Alright? Alright. Sergeant Smith didn't write the officer a ticket, but he did file a complaint with the officer's supervisors. He recently learned that the officer involved was given verbal counseling, told not to speed anymore without lights and siren. He's not upset with the officer, but with her supervisors for not taking what he believes to be more appropriate action. JSO uh, Undersheriff Pat Ivey told me that this afternoon that they did take appropriate action. It was investigated. He said the officer was warned and he believes the supervisors took the right approach. Now, these are the, uh, the documents that he says that shows it was investigated. Bottom line, they hope that cases like these that the officers would use better judgment and use their sirens and lights when their policy calls for it. Mary? Thank you, Jim. And we want to remind you, if there's something you'd like the I-Team to investigate, take a photo or video, text it to 904-479-NEWS or email iteam at newsforjax.com.